Real quick, real quick, let me bust this down. Okay, yesterday I did a video talking about uh, Cleveland, Isaiah 14 and 1, when a lot of our people think that the other nations will be able to get into the kingdom because it say they shall cleave unto us. Okay, I broke that down. In the process of breaking that down, I had said that a lot of our people think they say, well, they covered in the blood, they don't really know what that mean. So somebody hit me in my DM and say, hey, bro, how you gonna tell people they not saved? Or uh, X, Y, Z, how you gonna say that? Da, 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 da. They don't really have the understanding of that. So let me break that down, what they really mean. Okay, you have prophecies in the Bible that has and has not been fulfilled. So let me give you some of the prophecies that has been fulfilled. All right, we know the Euphrates River just dried up last year or this year or something like that, right? Within the last year and a half, right? Now the Bible been written thousands of years ago. But in Revelation, it told you that the Euphrates River, which our people don't know that's right there like what you would call the Middle East or right there where heaven was sitting. The Garden of Eden was right there. They call it the Middle East in today's time. It was a Nile River. It's four heads that come out that river. The Euphrates is one. That is dried up. Imagine going outside and looking at the Atlantic Ocean and there's no ocean no more. It's just dirt. That's what happened to the Euphrates River, bro. It's just dried up. Like the scripture said, that's one prophecy that has came to pass. Okay. The transatlantic slave trade, that's Deuteronomy 28 and 68, when they say we was going to be brought to the new land and sold on ships, that prophecy has been fulfilled. It happened. Another prophecy that's been fulfilled when it talks about in Psalm 83 that the other nations building that to mo, which is the UN in today's time to uh, keep our people at the bottom of society. That's really what that really mean in Psalm 83. That prophecy has happened. Uh, what's another one? They say you're going to get to the new land, you're not going to know your name or have your real original name. That has happened. You talking about you African-American, you don't even know you the Jew of the Bible. Black people don't even know they the Jew of the Bible. Uh, Puerto Ricans, Colombians, uh, Cubans, Hispanics, they don't even know they Israel. They don't even know they the tribe of Israel. They talking about they Hispanics. No, they don't know that they from the tribe of Issachar. They talking about they Puerto Ricans. No, they don't know they from the tribe of Ephraim and Manasseh and ILM. They don't know that, bro. So... Those prophecies has been fulfilled when he said that thing was going to happen. He said we was going to go into slavery. That prophecy has been fulfilled. Now, prophecies that has not been fulfilled. And I'm going to bring it all the way down to how are you saved? Prophecies that has not been fulfilled. Luke 1 and 68, when it say that the Messiah is going to return and save us from our enemies that hate us. That, that prophecy has not been fulfilled yet. It's a lot of prophecies that has not been fulfilled right Another now. Another prophecy that has not been fulfilled is we haven't made it to the kingdom yet. He haven't brought the kings of the east back to the holy land. That hasn't been fulfilled yet. The other thing that hasn't been fulfilled, he said he was gonna clear that land out. What you're seeing right now is prophecy unfolding. The land is not clear yet because you still got Israelis over there. You still got Palestinian people over there. Arabs, you still got them people over there in your land, soil in the land, them ambassadors over there, all over there in Ashard and all that. You got them lands uh, 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 conquered by Gentiles, real Gentiles, by blood. That that prophecy hasn't been fulfilled yet. Them people still over there. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a lot of prophecies that hasn't been fulfilled. So you are not saved. You cannot be saved until all prophecies are fulfilled and the Messiah return. So let me show you something. In today's time, bro, you are still in slavery. This is what the average so-called christian don't understand or don't know they doing a lot of singing a lot of rapping a lot of yapping and a lot of napping they sleep bro they don't know nothing about what the scripture really say the Bible tells you you are still a slave right now today i want to say this to y'all people all y'all people that's on social media y'all talking about god and the bible and all that type of hey, stuff bro stop talking about how good god is and how good the messiah is and start breaking down them scriptures we all know god is good he keep waking you up and you walking around with a cross on we all know christ is good he keep waking you up and you walking around with pants on as a woman we know god is good he keep waking you up and you still eating pork we know god is good he keep waking you up and you ain't following no sabbath or no holy days so we know god is good stop talking about that part start talking about what's gonna happen to you negroes for not following his commandments that's what's gonna happen bro start breaking down them scriptures stop singing and dancing and yapping and napping stop doing that bro a lot of our people on social media is gonna be fried i just look at them people pages and like dang bro them people really think they godly people 
they up here singing, dancing, yapping, and napping. And they ain't breaking down no scriptures to nobody. No, bro, I'm going to break it down. As a woman, if you walking in pants, you are not godly. As a woman, if you walking around with a cross, you are not godly. You is capping, yapping, napping, and rapping. That is what you doing. You was talking about the most high, but you treating them like the most low. No, we don't do that. The most high say today is Sabbath. You out here talking about what you finna do today. No, you supposed to be resting. Ain't no movement. Ain't no movement, bro. You supposed to be in the house learning scripture. That's what you supposed to be doing. Not getting ready for what you gonna do for today. You is cap. You not saved, bro. You're not saved. You're not saved until the Messiah return. Watch this. When you make it to heaven, bro, if you make it to heaven, right, ain't gonna be no such thing as bills. You still paying bills right now. How is you saved? You're not saved yet. It ain't no such thing as pain in the kingdom. You still can go get hurt. How is you saved? You're not saved. You still paying bills right now today, right? If you get paid next week, we already know where your money going. How is you saved? Your next dollar, we know where it's going, bro. It's slavery, bro. You going to work right now, we already know. If you going to work right now, bro, and you ain't got paid till next Friday, next Friday, we already know where your money going. It's going to the white man, the Chinese, or the Arab man. That's where it's going. It's already accounted for. You in slavery, bro. The next dollar after that, we know where it's going. Where it's going. The next check after that, we know where it's going. We know where your money is already going, bro. Your next dollar, the dollar you haven't even made yet, we already know where it's going, but you talking about you is saved. No, 